No matter what the judges say this week, we have made a beautiful kitchen, and I've had a baby. Win win. So, sticks and wombats. By now, we know you're all about wood. Yeah. So, I think we have to start with this. This is amazing. What is it? This is Tobacco Halifax Oak, which is a new product from Freedom and it is unreal. It looks like real timber. And it even has the wood grain on the end, which is something that's never been done before. So, when you look at it from the side, it looks it like flat all the pieces of timber. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think Darren described it as delicious. Ooh. Sounds like something you could take a bite out of. You should try. <laughs> Just before we go in any further, this is beautiful. Mm. I love this solid chunk of Caesar stone and how it intersects through this other material. And I love all the browns playing against the whites. I think this is a really, really, really sharp, sophisticated, beautiful approach. This has got like a natural texture in it. You can you can feel the grain in it as well. And to have a laminate with that much texture, I think it's unreal. Because the wear and tear on something like this is gonna be much better than what it would be with a, you know. A real bit of timber. Like yeah. spills and stuff on this. No way, good. Just wipe real timber. Off. You don't have to keep treating it. So yeah, that's gonna last, last a lifetime. I think one of Darren's other favorite pieces about the house was this big, chunky bench top in Caesar stone. Yeah. Caesar stone, 100 mil thick, new white the product is. We love it and it goes well with the timber, just the different thicknesses. So that was the thing for us, we wanted to have different heights and different thicknesses in our products and this stuff looks amazing under the light. There's a slight shimmer in it. So this is the raw luxury that the judges keep talking about in your house. Yes, that's right. They've got this signature love of timber. That's their thing. But they seem to know how to bring it into a contemporary context, which I think is really clever. A phrase that does get thrown about quite a bit is raw luxury. That's what the boys are doing so well. Tell me about the design process. What was you and what was Freedom Kitchens? Well, we had a very clear idea of what we wanted for a kitchen. They're unreal. They helped us right through the lot, said what would go with other products and what textures would work with other textures. So, right. a lot of clean lines. Yep. So even with all the doors, we're going to keep okay. them flat. No handles whatsoever. So to have them to, to walk us through it, we were, we're in safe hands. Shona also loved the Caesar stone and the dark concrete cabinetry. She just didn't like them together. Why is that? Because they're both a feature. And as we know, with a feature, they cancel each, other, each out. other out. So I'm noticing a little bit of a change here. Reveal day, this was different. That's right. What's happened? We've changed the colour of the cabinets on either side from the original dark concrete grey that was uh, on our fridge, fridge panelling. Mainly because when we originally designed the kitchen, I don't like exposed range hoods. We wanted to do a range hood that was, you know, kind of hidden away, but also a feature piece. And that's why we did the turbine grey Caesar stone as a box around that. Um, we just wanted to change the cabinet colours, so you, that part really pops out. And those colours were very close to each other, so it sort of blended in. So uh, so you're claiming credit for that now. I oh, have a um, sneaky no. suspicion it was someone else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the judges that come up with and that idea. Yeah, so yeah. It was so we like to listen to the feedback, and, and uh, it was possible to do it after talking to Freedom. So we've, uh, we've made that change, and now that it's done, Definitely makes it pop out. I guess while we're here, you should walk me through your amazing appliances. Yeah, so we went with a gas burner cooktop because I really love them. And, and you can put anything on it. Uh, that way, you know, when you use induction, you can only use certain pots and pans. I love to cook in a big camp oven, a cast iron pot, and the per middle burner is perfect for that. So it's really versatile. What do you know about these, Matt? Ovens? Yeah. yeah. I normally cook in the ground, mate. So. <laughs> uh, I do know that we've got a big one and we've got a little one with a plate warmer. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it? <laughs> they haven't been used. Yes, and yeah. they're clean yeah. and ready, ready to go. With uh, But I have been told one of the best things about this is it brings up little icons and pictures. So you just press cake and then you put the cake in there and it'll do everything that's meant to do. And they do say a pitch tells a thousand words. I'm pretty excited about what's behind these beautiful concrete doors. Yes, this is, these are the only doors that actually have handles on them in our kitchen. And the reason for that is because this is where we keep our fridges. Double fridge. Double fridge, double, double freezer. freezer. So perfect for a big family. I see a few other interesting things in here. That's, that's one that's secret. Uh, that's the secret to painting, actually. One that's secret. Yeah. I wouldn't say a painter. <laughs> supports this theory. I was told by a painter, you keep your rollers in the fridge and they they just stay 
they don't dry out. So next time we want to use them, they're ready to go. As long as you use the same colour. The thing with our kitchen is that the whole thing looks like it's floating. We actually have mirrors underneath for our kickboards. So from in the lounge room, it looks like the whole kitchen's floating. It just looks like the timber keeps going yeah. all the way under the cupboard. Hard to do your makeup if you've got to get down that low. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Toe makeup. Yeah. Check you your take nails. your pedicure. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I love a double sink where you can actually put a drainer in there too. Yep. This is a great tap. Cupboards, have we got a dishwasher there? Yes. Beautiful. So, every multi-million dollar house needs a butler's pantry these days. Obviously, to put their butler in. <laughs> where we keep our butler. <laughs> he lives in here. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of room for him. Bunk beds in the corner? No. no. <laughs> so in here we've decided to go with the same colour scheme as our main kitchen. Uh, and we've used the tobacco Halifax bench top in the wood and also the dark concrete and the white as well. So it all really flows together. We have the second sink in here and we also have a second dishwasher. Which is brand new as well. Yeah, never used. <laughs> and then around the corner we have a, a full size pantry. Keep all your food and bits and pieces. And plenty of bench space and storage, which of course Shana loves. <laughs> So Kitchen Week must have been nuts. How did they install this in one week? Well, they don't just do this one kitchen in one week. They had to do all five kitchens on the block in one week. And yeah, it's crazy. Mm, a very smooth team. Yeah. So now they do it, but they work well. Bryce and his crew have got a really great team. Yeah, and they get in and they just bang it out. It was impressive to watch. Did you help them? We let them do what they had yeah. to do. <laughs> we had tried to, stand to clear back. the area. We had our jip rocker plastering around them. So they work really well as a group. I think it's the perfect kitchen for this house. Like you've done a really good job. It all ties in together beautifully. And I think you um, if kitchen sell houses. Hopefully, Hopefully this is your house. winning ticket. <laughs> Thanks, Freedom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.